Hey guys, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and today I am going to solve a hybrid Sudoku variant. This Sudoku variant is Irregular Little Killer and it was created by Jeet Sampath. This Sudoku was posted on the CTC Discord server. Uh, we thank Jeet for allowing us to make a video on this Sudoku. So the, the reason for making this uh, variant is that I was looking for a Sudoku with some outside clues uh, because I can't really remember the last time I had made a video on a Sudoku with some outside clues. So I was uh, looking for some Sudoku which had some outside clues and this caught my eye. Just four outside clues you can see that. Uh, and then irregular Sudoku rules apply. So uh, seems to be an interesting variant and can be hard to. So if you want to try this Sudoku out yourself, the link is given in the description of the video. Please do give it a try and come back and watch the video. So I'll jump into the rules now. Each row, column and 9 cell region. Instead of the classic rule where you have 3 by 3 boxes, uh, you have some irregular shaped regions. And each of these regions have exactly 9 cells in them. So they will also contain uh, digits from 1 to 9. And then uh, little killer rules apply. So you can see some outside clues here. So the, the digits along the direction indicated by the outside clue must sum up to this clue and digits may repeat on this direction there is no restriction on that part so these are the rules uh, seems to be a really interesting one so let us give it a shot now hope you guys enjoy watching this video so i'll start this sudoku now it's clear to me that uh, the start is either with this clue or this clue right this is too high and this is too low and how many cells do we have along this direction? Okay, this is clear guys. Uh, you can start along uh, this 10 clue. Start writing minimum digits and see where that takes us. So I'm going to put the absolute minimum digits uh, in each of these uh, cells pointed by this arrow. And I'm just going to add them. These are the absolute minimum values. These two cells and these two cells are in the same region so they would have to take the values 1 and 2 and these cells uh, can take a minimum of 1. So you can see that you have 3 from here and you have 3 from here that gives you 6 and you have 4 ones. So that gives you 10. So which means that the cells along this direction cannot take higher value than that because the absolute minimum takes you to 10. So let us just go ahead and substitute those values 1, 1, 1. 1 and these values are going to stay. We have not yet resolved them, right? And now we can look at this 79 clue. I guess you know the irregular part will help us later in the solve because with just 4 clues, I can't see how you can force a unique solution really. So let's look at this 79 clue and I'm going to do the opposite of this. I'm just going to write in all the high digits along this direction. So since these two cells are both in the same direction, let me substitute 8, 9 here. So that's a 9, that's a 9, that's a 9, that's a 9, that's a 9 and that's... Okay, both of these cells are in the same direction. So let me put an 8 and 9. So I'm going to add all these clues now. So we have a 17 from here and a 9 which is 26, 35, 44, 53 and you have 70 from here because of 17. And one more 9, 79. So when you uh, substitute the maximum values along this direction, absolute maximum values, you are just able to reach this total. So which means that the cells would have to contain the maximum value. A fun start to the Sudoku, right? So uh, I can just write in these digits. This would be a 9, this would be a 9, 9, 9 and 9. And we haven't yet resolved these, right? Okay, now the test will start, I think. How to continue is the question. Let me check. Okay, so along column 9, uh, there are exactly two cells which can take the 9. Because this is a part of a single region. And which means that I can't have 9 in any of these cells. And 9 can't go here due to classic. So 9 goes in one of these two cells. And that is not really helpful. 
Okay. So I found a way to resolve this 8, 9 pair. You have a 9 here, which means for this region, this uh, kind of L-shaped region, so 9 goes in uh, these three cells, right? And which means that you can resolve uh, this 8, 9 pair. So that is 8 and that is 9. So can we do something about this now? So I've got four, five, six nines in the grid. So I have to uh, find three more nines somewhere, right? Look at this region, guys. It's very restricted. Nine cannot be here. Nine cannot be here. And nine cannot be here. Same uh, classic rule. So which means that nine for this region would have to go here. And that helps me resolve this eight, nine pair. That is nine and that is eight. So which means that I can place the 9 in this region. So if we go, we've got two 9s. So that would be a 9. So I've placed all the 9s I think, right? 7 9s and 2 more 9s. So we've got 9 9s in the grid. So I'd like to think here that even 1s can be resolved because, you know, the 9s got resolved. So maybe there is a way to uh, resolve the 1s. So how did I get the nines? I started by looking at the nines here, right? Uh, maybe this uh, region is symmetric, so this might help. So I have a one here, I have a one here, and a one cannot go here. So which means one for this uh, region would have to go in these three cells. Just like I got a nine in these three cells, I was looking at the symmetrically opposite region to see if it gave me something. And fortunately, I could deduce that one goes in one of these cells. Oh. On a closer uh, look, one can be removed from here as well. So one goes in one of these two cells, which means that that's a one and that's a two. Okay, now in column two, uh, you can ask yourself, where does the one go? There is exactly one self for one to go in column two. So obviously it is not this cell and it can't go here. And this is part of a same region. So one is removed from all these three cells. One is removed from here due to classic and one goes here now, right? So one in, uh, you know, column one can't be here, can't be here. So it has exactly five cells. And I think you can eliminate many cells from that. So two uh, cells are, directly removed and this cell is also removed so you have one in one of these two cells so i've got one two three four five six ones in the grid right so i need to resolve uh yeah three ones in three regions and i can't see a way it on how to resolve these let's see so the eight appears severely restricted in this region. 8 can't be in these 5 cells because 8 is in column 9. So 8 goes in one of these 2 cells, right? So I'm going to use some, you know, uh, something which is particularly, uh, you know, specific to this variant. So if you look at these 2 cells, I've uh, highlighted them in green. They must be in this uh, irregular shaped region, right? And they would go into only these two cells. Because you have 1 and 9 here. And 1 and 9 are already occupied in these cells. So which means that whichever two digits go in these two cells cannot be in these five cells. Cannot be in these two cells. So which means they would have to go in these two cells. So this is uh, something called in-out, you can say. But actually, this is not in out. You can just deduce this using uh, uh, normal rules of Sudoku, right? So, by in out, what I mean is so if you look at rows 1 and 2, you have this region and you have this region, right? We know that rows 1 and 2 will take two sets of 1 to 9. So, out of this region, you have eight digits here and one digit is going outside. Let me mark that in yellow, right? 
so you are losing one digit from this region it is going outside and now in order to preserve the balance whichever digit is going outside must be compensated by some digit which is coming inside you can see that from this region this digit is coming inside rows 1 and 2 so if you were to draw an imaginary line between rows 2 and 3 this cell is going outside and this cell is coming inside so both would have to be same right because we know that rows 1 and 2 contain two sets of 1 to 9 and you have one set of 1 to 9 in here and out of the remaining set of 1 to 9 you are losing one digit outside which has to be compensated by the digit which is coming inside so this is basically what do you call in out this can be uh, used in many ways in harder irregular sudokus this is really a gift to use you know It really helps us to complete sudokus so i'm tempted to look at uh, maybe this clue or even this one not really certain so let me just do the same thing i did at the start what happens if i substitute maximum values along this direction this can be maximum a uh, 7 right this would be a 7 max and this can be right all these three cells are a uh, part of the same region so we can have a 6 7 8 in there and these two cells are part of different regions so you have 8 9 in this region so this would be maximum 7 and this would be maximum 8 because of the 9 here now let's add all these together and hope that it matches exactly to 43 so what better way to uh, continue the sudoku rather than this so we have 7 plus 8 which is uh, 15 here and 15 plus Six, seven, eight, twenty-one. So that gives you thirty-six plus seven. That gives you forty-three, guys. Awesome. So which means that whichever cell we had uh, substituted the maximum values, those cells would have to take the maximum value, right? So we had got that uh, maximum. It would be seven here. So this would be a seven. There's no doubt. And these three cells maximum can be twenty-one. So I'm going to write uh, center pencil marks. They must must be six, seven, eight. No doubt. and uh, the maximum value here is an 8 so that is going to be 8 maximum here is a 7 that is going to be a 7 so we got a lot of digits guys it's fantastic and uh, so you have 8 uh, not going into this uh, vertical sort of plus shaped region so you have 8 in these three cells so that gives me a 6 7 pencil mark here and 8 goes in one of these two cells right let me mark those eight goes in one of these two cells wow this is amazing guys a really sharp deduction you can say and that is because how these eights interact with each, with each other uh, in these two regions so look at this eight can this be an eight so if you have an eight here the 8 uh, in this region goes into this cell right i'm going to mark with blues so where can you place the 8 now in this region it can't be here and it can't be here so which means that you can eliminate the 8 from this cell that gives you an 8 in one of these two cells so can i deduce that one of these cells would have to be 8 if not what happens for this region i get my 8 in this cell and for this region i would have to place the 8 here and that leads to 2 8 in column 7 so which means that we can be certain one of these cells would have to be 8 and uh, what does that do is remove the 8 from this row remove the 8 from here and 8 is already removed from column 1 so in this region there is exactly one cell left for the 8 now this is really nice guys no some sudoku i don't know why it's i'm finding it so much fun to solve so you can't have 8 in any of the other cells so 8 goes here and a little bit of uh, you know in out you can use here i'm going to remove the color from this cell because the color is for denoting these two cells are equivalent to these two cells so i'll just remove the color from here and you can use the same idea here 
so we have eight nine in these two cells and i need uh, these two cells inside this region right they can't be in these five cells they cannot be here so they would have to go here so which means whatever is in here would have to go here And I can go even further guys. So whatever is in here can't be here right due to classic. So which means that this cell is equal to that cell. So I'll just make a color there. And why is this in yellow? I'll remove the yellow from here. So whatever goes here has to be here guys. And these two blue cells are equal. So does the 20 begin to help us now? Uh, I'm seeing many ways to continue the Sudoku here. I can start uh, by just narrowing down 8s or I can start to, uh, to see how this clue helps us in the grid. So let me see how this helps. Do I start by putting minimum values or what do I do here? Let me see. So. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just first going to highlight the cells so they they kind of uh, you know stand up from the grid. So I'm going to substitute minimum values along this direction to see where does uh, that take me with respect to this clue. So if I put the minimum here, this would be a two, and these two cells are part of the same region, and which can't be one, so they must be minimum two three. So I'm going not going to write any digit here for now because uh, you know 8 can go in those two cells right so I'm going to just leave that open for now. So this cell is minimum 3 can't be 1 and 2 so this is minimum 3. This is also minimum 3 can't be 1 and 2 so let me put a 3 here and this is minimum a 2 I think right oh you have a 2 here so this is minimum 3 again. So I have 3 plus 3 plus 3 that gives me 9 and 2 plus 3 which is 5 so 9 plus 5 is 14 and 14 plus 2 is 16 which means that even after substituting minimum values along this cell I can only get a maximum of 4 here right you can't have an 8 here that's a really nice deduction guys so just as I suspected this clue is helping us now so this cannot be 8 because that would take the total uh, well over 20 so I'm going to remove the 8 from here and I'm certain that this is uh, oh wait when I did this I didn't realize that both of these are in the same box right so which basically means that I can convert these to 3 4 pair right you have 1 2 pair this plus shape region if you look closely you have 1 2 pair which means minimum you'll have 3 4 7 from these cells and 5 from these two cells 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 and these two cells take a minimum of 3 so that gives you 20 exactly that's superb guys that's superb so i'm going to uh, quickly plonk in those digits 3 3 this would be 2 3 pair which can't be resolved i guess for now okay this is minimum 2 so i have 1 2 i have 3 4 i have 8 9 so i think i can uh, fill in the remaining digits in that plus shape region. This would be 5, 6, 7. I have a 7 here, that's not a 7. So 7 goes in one of these two cells. How do I continue here? Oh, I can resolve this, guys. You have a 2 here. This cannot be a 2, right? due to classic so that's a 3 and which means uh, the cell which is in the same region must be a 2 now so that becomes uh, 1 and that becomes a 2 so 7 cannot be in these two cells 
in this region so 7 has exactly two cells right so i'm not going to mark uh, pencil marks in weird cells they are not even you know they don't seem to be related to each other even though they are part of the same region it doesn't make sense to make a pencil mark in these two cells so i'll just write candidates here these two cells must be 4 5 6 So pardon me guys if I'm missing something terribly obvious, not so easy to look. So the two inside this region has only two cells. I can make a pencil mark like this. Two cannot go in, uh, in any of these cells. So two in this region goes in one of these two cells. Okay. So can I have a two here? Which means that the two has to go in the green cells. And of course this is not possible however 2 can be here right yeah 2 can go here which is not what we wanted ideally right okay let me look at these cells guys because i have a 6 7 8 triplet in that region and in addition to that i also have a 1 9 as candidates so 1 9 as uh, placed digits so which means these four cells can only be two, three, four, five, and does that give me something? Ah, three is removed from these cells. Three is removed from this cell. Superb. So I have a two, four, five triplet. So which means there is only one cell for the three. Three goes here. Okay, two is removed from here, and two is removed from here. You know, a simpler way to look. So. 2 gets eliminated from here, so that gives me 2 here. And if I look at this row, <coughs> okay, I can place the 8 guys. 8 cannot be in column 1, and uh, there is no other cell which can take the 8 in that row, so 8 goes here. And I think it's time to look at all the 8s, so I've, I'm seeing many 8s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this 8 can be removed now guys so this is not an 8 so 8 in this region goes here and now whatever is here has to be here and that means that this is not a 2 because you can't have a 2 here since this 8 is uh, matched up with this cell so this cell has to go here so 2 goes here and 8 is not here so which means that's an 8 So from here on it's clearly the irregular part that is helping us guys the little killer clues have dried out completely except maybe these two clues so it's come uh, it's only the irregular that is going to help us So can I make use of this fact that the red cells are equal. Uh, 1, 3, 8, 2, and 9 are ruled out, so which means they must be 4, 5, 6, 7. And even this can be 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Doesn't make sense to uh, write in those pencil marks. Must be something better. Okay, look at this cell, guys. I mean, this column, column 7. So there is exactly one cell left for uh, writing the one in that column. So I'll just make the one. No other cell can take a one, so one goes here. So one, three, two, nine, four, five. These two cells must be uh, six, seven, eight, and eight cannot go in row one. So that means I can place the eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the eights have been placed with that 8 and row 9 looks juicy so you have 6 digits here so which means uh, these two cells must be 4, 5, 6 2, 3, 9, 1, 7, 8 so this must be a 4, 5, 6 
so which means that either this cell is 7 or this cell is 7 for row 8 right so let me place that so if you have a 7 here the 7 goes here and if you have a 7 here the 7 goes here so either way one of these cells the red or blue must be a 7 so we can mark a 7 alternatively uh, like the 7 must be in one of these two cells okay so what do i do next 7 is removed from these cells and if I look at this region closely, 7 is also eliminated from here. That's nice, guys. So I can place the 7 here. Superb. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that gives me a 7 here. I've eliminated 7 cells. I mean, uh, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8 cells. So 7 would have to go here. And I can place the final one in the grid. 1 goes here. So I just quickly notice that there are eight ones in the grid. That gives our final one. Okay, this green must be equal to this one. So that's four, five, six. So I'll just uh, make them a different color. So I think it's all about the uh, four, five, sixers and sevens now, right? You got all the ones, you got all the nines and eights, and even sevens, yeah, even twos. And, I mean, so one, two, seven, three, eight, nine. So I'll write uh, the pencil marks: four, five, six, four, five, six, and four, five, six. And even this region will only be four, five, six. You have one, two, seven. You have three, eight, nine. So four, five, six fills in the uh, this region. Now I have a four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, I have a triplet. Better still, I have a triplet than uh, rather than a quadruple. So four, five, six. So that gives me uh, sorry, that gives me uh, seven here because you can eliminate five, six because of this triplet. So that's a seven. That is not a seven now because it's part of the same region. So that must be a three. One, three, seven, eight, and nine. So I need 2 in one of these cells, 2 cannot be here, so that becomes a 2. And that would be a 4, 5 and 6. Superb Sudoku guys, really superb. Not so hard, but so much fun to solve. And how much time has it taken me? Oh, close to half an hour, I can't even believe. No, it didn't seem that time was passing so fast. So I have 4, 5, 6 triplet in row 5. So that be means this cannot be 6, that's a 7. That would be 3 and which means uh, this becomes 4. That removes the 4 from here. So I have a 5, 6 in column 5. That becomes a 2, 3 pair for the column. And a quick scan reveals nothing. Okay, these two cells for column 8 must be um, 4, 5, 6. You can't have 1, 2, 7 and 3, 8, 9. So they must be a 4, 5, 6. Is this a hard Sudoku? I would most certainly answer no. This is absolutely doable. But still it has taken me so much time. I'm not sure why. Maybe I was going too slow. Oh, I have a 7 here. So I can remove the 7 from this cell part of the same region so 6 goes here and that gives me a 7 here and that is really good because we have a long range reduction now so 7 cannot be in a blue cell because this is part of the same region which means you can eliminate the 7 from this cell because these blue cells take the same value so that becomes a 7 so 1 4 7 2 6 8 9 so we have a 3 5 pair and that can be resolved so that's a 5 that is a 3 and 5 is removed from these cells now so that becomes 4 6 and in row 9 5 goes in one of these two cells and that removes the 5 from here which removes the 5 from here beautiful so 4 6 4 6 uh, I think we are going to end up with 4 5 6 uh, finally in the grid guys before that, let's finish off the 7. 7 in column 7 has only one cell. 7 goes here. And 
one seven two three eight nine so that must be a four five six so I have a four five six triplet so which means that seven eight one nine four five six so this would have to be two and three and that can be resolved so that's a three that's a two that's a three and row two two three nine one seven and eight so this must be four five six that must be four five six and because this is a blue cell this would be four five six both are equal and seven uh, goes into the red cell now so seven both of these are equal and if I look at column one one two eight three seven nine so that must also be a four five and a six one eight nine three and seven I need to place two in one of these cells two cannot be in column four so that's a two and that becomes a four five six wow superb so we are left only with four five and six sixers in the grid how do we go about this uh, do we need to do coloring I think it's too early to decide if we had to go for coloring Ah, in row 8 you have a 4 6 pair guys just you know a straight deduction so that becomes a 5 now so that becomes a 4 6 and which means that this cannot be 4 6 because it's part of the same region so that's a 5 that's a 4 that is 6 and that translates to this cell that's a 6 and that gives me 5 here which puts a 4 here a 6 here a 4 here it's like engulfing now engulfing like wild wildfire 4 5 that gives a 6 here so 6 removes the 6 from these two cells that's a 4 5 pair so that is a 6 and that becomes a 4 5 which can be resolved so that's a 5 that's a 4 and now only digit left in column 7 that becomes 5 and now this would have to be a 6 that's a 4 5 so okay you have a 4 so that's a 5 which means that is 4 that is 5 that is 4 4 5 gives me a 6 and 4 6 can be resolved so that's a 6 that's a 4 and final two digits left in the grid are 4 and 5 which you can resolve easily and with that we have completed this superb sudoku by Jeet Sampath I'm really happy that I chose this sudoku I wanted to do a sudoku with some outside clues I didn't you know go for a particular variant like exams or something like that I just wanted a sudoku with which had some outside clues so this one was excellent guys just four outside clues all uh, turned out to be either minimal or maximal that gave us quite a few digits and then uh, irregular really helped us uh, to continue the solve so hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve this light sudoku uh, please let us know your thoughts and comments like and comment under the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching i'll be soon uh, will be soon with the video